back to the XS Ladies Place. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful blouse that I posted a couple of days ago. And like almost everybody in the comment section were like, let's recreate it, let's recreate it. So we are going to be recreating it today. And we are going to be using one yard of crepe fabric. This is crepe fabric and it's just one yard. So let's see how it goes. One yard. By the way, one yard is just 36 inches in case you don't know what one yard is. One yard is 36 inches. It's like the vendor gave me extra two inches, but you just need one yard, okay? One yard of crepe fabric. So here we have one yard now that is 36 inches, 36 inches here by 60 inches. So crepe comes with 60 inches length. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is just to fold it into two. I'll fold it into two like this. Just fold it into two like so. And you see, then after that, I'll fold it like a triangle like this can you see just fold it like a perfect triangle let the triangle be perfect you know what i mean by perfect let it be equal like this let it be equal triangle here over here let it be equal triangle okay and when it's done that way you have something like this don't worry, we'll be trimming this off. We don't need this. This part is not needed in this tutorial. The next thing you want to do is for you to mark the width of your neckline. So for the width of the neckline, you can see that the neckline is wide. So I'll just look for a position that this I will see 7.5 inches because I want the neck width to be 7.5 inches. inches. That's what I want the neck width to be. So then for the neck depth, I'm going to be making the neck depth to be three inches since it's already like a wide neck. So I'll connect it this way. Then I'm going to cut this out. So just watch the way I'm going to cut it. Can you see you cut it off then you come to this place you see that this place is unfold and just cut it again just the way i'm doing now so can you see this is what we have. So the next thing you want to measure and take note of is where your hand will come out from. So your hand will come out from somewhere here. So what you have to do is just to measure, like let's measure, depends on how wide your hand is, but seven inches is okay. So from, from this end, I'm going to measure seven inches in one hour. Now mark it. That is where my hand is going to come out from later on. Okay. So I will just notch. So I'll just notch. So that's where my hand is coming out from later. So the next thing now is for you to go and make your stitch. Can you see? So this is the neckline. We are going to pipe the neckline with bias. Then this would be the shoulder area. You are going to sew here up to that point where you notch. This is my notching. So I'll sew from here till I get here. When I get here, I'll backstitch and stop. Or let me fold it back and just quickly take some measurements. So let me fold it back. Consider it's a perfect triangle. So for you to know, so once you have, you have not where the hand is going to come out from, just make it a little cut there. Once you have it, then another thing you will do to look for is the position of your hip. So at, from the hemline now, just come to any point here and locate your hip circumference divided by four. Your hip divided by four, then with extra one and a half inch. So my hip is 44 divided by four, that will be 11. So here I have 11 with extra one inch. So I will notch this point. So the next I'm going to do now is just to open it up. This is where the hand will come out from and this is going to be the down part. So I'll open it up now so that we can see. 
so if you open it up you have it this way can you see so this part is the neck area you are going to pipe it with bias then here you are going here you are going to sew till you get to where you notch when you get where you notch you, you are going to backstitch and stop then again you come to the outer edge you sew again till where you have the notching for the hip then when you get there you backstitch and stop i'll also come here so from here to where i get to my notching okay then i'll come to the outer edge i'll sew to where i have my notch so let's quickly do that on the sewing machine finish the neckline with bias so i'm going to stitch the bias around the neckline So I'm done with the neckline. So the next thing now is just to sew the shoulders together. So this is the shoulder area. You're going to stitch together with half inch. So when I get to that place that I notch where the hand is going to come out from, I'll backstitch and stop. Then I'll do the same thing to the second side of the shoulder. Don't forget we are stitching the shoulder with half an inch. When I get to my notching, I'll backstitch and stop. So this is how it's looking. So it's looking so far. I finished the neckline with bias and I've stitched the shoulders to where I notch. Where I notch where the hand will come out from. Okay. S same thing with this side. So the next thing you have to do, just open this your seam allowance up. Then you are going to hem this part. Look at it. The way it is like this, just fold quarter in and then quarter out. You're going to make your stitch to like one inch after you're joining. You do the same thing to this other side. And also here, just like this. Can you see? You fold quarter in and then quarter over. You make your stitch to half one inch beyond where your joining stops. You do the same thing to the other side. so i've finished this opening so the next thing i'll do now i'll come here i'm going to stitch here with half inch till i get to that notion that we did had where we locate our hip measurement okay so you join with half till this notion this is the point then come to the other side as well don't forget this is the shoulder the sleeve opening right so from here you join with half inch to the point where you have the notion for the hip line so let's go do that So once this so once you are done joining the side the way i have explained the next thing is just to finish the opening here just this row edge you are just going to hem it okay so just like we did towards here you're going to do the same thing just come 
up here like one inch above where your joining stops then you are going to just open it up like this and then you make your stitch just to hem the raw edges that's all then you roll you 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 fold quarter in and quarter house you sew till you sew the whole raw edges inside okay And that's it your blouse is ready if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please kindly subscribe and i want to use this medium to say thank you to all my channel members thank you so much for clicking that join button i love you i appreciate your support for this channel Mwah. stay sweet um and also i want you i want to use this medium to invite you to be joining me daily because i usually come here every day monday to friday between 11 a.m so that you can join us on the live class to learn one or two. See you next time. Bye. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay, so mine is sitting pretty well on my shoulder now, but if you make yours and it's not sitting pretty well like this, all you have to do is just to hold it here. People might be thinking maybe the seven and a half might be too wide. No, it's not going to be too wide. So in case you 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 went ahead and use a smaller size maybe you use six inches and because you tend to get like this like just standing on your shoulder like this so how do you correct it you just hold it a little further from the shoulder assuming i am not placed with the way it's doing here now i'll just hold it like half inch further can you see and it's we just balance well do the same thing for the second side and you have your beautiful top oh, this top is so fine it's so fine i like it so in case if it's, it's standing like here is raised up just hold it more okay that's the only adjustment you're going to do to it but if you follow this step like you never gonna keep but if at all it gives just hold it mine is not gaping but if i just feel that i'm not so comfortable with the way it's standing a little bit here i might just go ahead and hold it inside again i'll just go back to the wrong side and hold it by half inch all right Thank you.